My car has been bright pink for way too long now, eight months specifically, but today is the day that we finally get the pink vinyl wrap removed. I am quite excited about it to be honest because I'm sick of it being pink, let's be honest. <laughs> oh, and also I want to give a huge thank you to Tidal for sponsoring this video. Because it turns out that unwrapping a car does not come cheap, so more about them in a bit. Okay, so I found a small vinyl wrap company, uh, we'll leave their link in the description. In this video I'll be going through how much it costs to get a car wrap removed. I've also asked them to film some of the process of removing the wrap, but you know what? Let's jump out the car. I considered unwrapping the whole car myself, but then I read a bunch of horror stories about how if you do it wrong you can just completely mess up your paintwork, which just seemed like a terrible idea to me. However, I reckon I am safe removing this. Are you ready for this? Here we go. Eight months this has been on here. Oh, I'm already screwing it up. Hang on, one sec, one sec. I, I can do this. Yep, this is why it was definitely worth hiring a professional. All right, here we go. You ready for this? <gasps> Look at that. Off it comes. Off it comes. Yes, we've done it. Fantastic! I'll leave the little monobrow, I'll let him get that. Alright, there we go, look at that. So now, I guess it's time for us to drive to the wrap company. Very exciting! <laughs> and so I embarked on my journey to DNA wraps, which, side note, was a delightful journey, by the way, lovely scenery. And on this journey, I began to reflect on the last eight months of owning a pink car. So it's definitely been really fun having a pink car for the last eight months, you know. It was great for the Mr. B series over on my main channel, it also raised a bunch of money for charity, so I very much enjoyed having a bright pink Tesla Model 3 however I will admit that these days I do find myself just driving the car less because I just can't be bothered to have a bunch of people stare at me every time I'm just doing something normal like going to the shops so I'm glad to be removing the vinyl wrap so that we can go back to having a nice boring white color that no one's gonna look twice at it's gonna be fantastic <laughs> and then I decided while we're on such a nice journey it'd be a shame not to listen to some music just stop you crying it's a sign of the time the music that I've been listening to on this journey has been accessed through the magic that is Tidal. Tidal is a global music and entertainment platform with over 80 million songs. They've also got 350 high quality videos, original video series, podcasts, and thousands of expertly curated fancy playlists. When you first sign up to the platform, you can choose from a bunch of artists that you like, and then from then, Tidal will recommend a bunch of playlists such as this one based on those artists. If you've got Tidal Hi-Fi Plus membership, like I do, you can listen to songs such as Peaches by Justin Bieber, you see this little hi-fi thing? That means you can listen Listen to the songs in insanely high quality, exactly how the original artist intended. Sounds good to me, let's listen! I've got to get copyrighted, but it, it sounds really good. <laughs> Hi-Fi Plus membership also comes with direct payments to artists, meaning 10% of your membership fee each month goes straight to the artist that you listen to the most. If you've got a Tesla, Tidal is directly implemented into the operating system, but if you do not, you can obviously listen to music through the Tidal app, and it's also obviously available on desktop as well. Tidal have been very generous, and if you use my link in the description, you can get a Hi-Fi Plus Tidal account for 60 days for free. Anyway, I'm running late, so I need to set off, because it is time to get this pink wrap stripped. Here we go. All right, apparently it should just just be the next left so is it is it literally down here I think it might be here we go very excited oh no that is a school never mind sorry <laughs> this one this is the left no problem I'm, I'm, I'm hyped for it here we go and he's also in unit three where is unit three vehicle wrapping and light tinting yes it's probably down there then here we go DNA wraps we've spotted it cool brilliant so I reckon I can just park down here somewhere okay I'm going to reverse in so that I don't have to explain why I've written turd boy 420 in sharpie on the boot of my car <laughs> we shall just slot ourselves nicely into here and then he can move us if he wants to okay right now I need to just grab everything most importantly me pink dice perfect get me ball <laughs> I had one last look at my bright pink car and I gave it a little wave goodbye and then witnessed it disappear around the corner and it was a very sad moment. Alright, car is dropped off, so now just need to work out how to get home. Find a find a bus stop I guess. Um Hello. <laughs> Eventually, I found a bus and I sat on it joyfully. And now I am home and I'm sure you've got lots of questions. I'm sure you want to see some of the wrap get removed and do not worry, I've got some footage for you. But firstly, the main thing you're probably wondering is how much did it cost to get the car stripped? And the answer is 
400 pounds which in my opinion 400 pounds you know that is quite a lot of money but then you've got to factor in that stripping a vinyl wrap is actually a lot more complicated than it seems right as we speak the pink tesla is being stripped back to white and you can see that when doing large panels like the door it's relatively straightforward you point your heat gun at the vinyl wrap and you delicately just peel it off a little bit at a time however in order to do more complex areas like the headlamps and like these tiny little gaps around the wing mirrors you actually have to take the headlamps off so tim who's the fella stripping the car he said it'll probably take about two days before it is completely stripped. So I honestly don't think £400 is too bad at all. Now while the car is being stripped, I don't just sit here idly by, I've got work to do. Because people who've been subscribed to the Jack Massey Rolls channel for a while, by the way, if you haven't been subscribed for a while, please do, thank you very much. You might remember that my previous car insurance got cancelled when I decided to get the car vinyl wrapped. Because most car insurers, weirdly, don't allow vinyl wrap modifications. So I had to find a new insurance company, and now that the car is getting stripped eight months later, I have to go back to that car insurance company and I have to tell them that the car is back to white again. Now I hoped I could do this online so I went ahead and selected that I wanted to make a change to my policy. Obviously it was then styling that I wanted to do but then the issue that I had was all I could do online was say that I was getting the car resprayed again because that's the only option I had whereas actually I'm removing a respray or a vinyl wrap. But do not fear I spoke to Kazakh on live chat and he updated my policy however it did cost me a £25 admin fee. I then also had to update my V 5c form and change the car back to white because if you look up the car online it is listed on the government website as being pink so i changed it to white and then for some reason you still have to physically post the v5c form you can't just update the details online which is really weird and very outdated but now all we need to do is leave tim from dna apps to do his thing and i'll let you know if anything happens in the meantime hey guys guess what something happened in the meantime i got a phone call from tim while i was recording a video for my geography channel and basically before i left him with the car i put the car into valet mode so that he he could change the seat position and stuff without it messing with my profile. However, what this indirectly did was lock him out of the front trunk, which obviously he needs to be able to access. However, thanks to the Tesla app, it was not too much of a problem. Here's a little clip of our phone call. One quick thing, I need to open the trunk and on the screen it's greyed out where it says open. Right, it'll be the valet mode that I put it on. I didn't realise it did that. It should have just opened now though. Yep, yeah, it's just opened. Lovely. That's amazing that, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So as well as that phone call, I've been getting lots of Tesla notifications on my phone telling me that doors have been left open, which makes perfect sense. It's just kind of funny. But I am told the car is now finished and ready to go pick up. And so I set off back to DNA Wraps. This time I was joined by Becky, so I didn't have to get the bus. And now it is time for the big reveal. All right, I am here with my friend Kong because we're going to go for a walk after this. But guess what? It is time to reveal my white pearlescent Tesla Model 3. <laughs> Doesn't it look nice? It looks good. I forgot how good the pearlescent white was. It's not just a white, it's a fancy pearlescent white. So it might not show on camera that well, but it does glisten really, really nicely in the sun. When we pulled around the corner and saw it, it looks bigger as well. Like it was almost as if it was a Model Y. I, I don't know why. It probably once again isn't like that on camera, but in person, it just looks a bit bigger white. But yes, I'm so happy the car is white once again. It looks really nice in white and it just attracts a little bit less attention when I'm just wanting to do something normal like go to the shops. Now, when we spoke to Tim, it was the nice fellow that went ahead and removed the wrap. Side note, we got to see all of the pink wrap laid on the floor in, in front of his studio, which was interesting. And he took this lovely shot for us as well. Thanks, Tim. There was one slight problem. Apparently, when the people that made the car pink took my front headlamp off, when it was placed back on, it potentially wasn't placed back on correctly, which meant that this little corner actually ended up kind of just slowly rubbing against this bit of paintwork over the last eight months. So it meant the paintwork underneath had been ruined, but Tim got his painter friend to basically tip X over the top of it. So if you look really, really closely, you can see it, but you're just never gonna notice it if you're not looking for it, which is absolutely fine. Speaking of Tim, I will leave his link in the description just in case any of you are wanting to get a wrap applied or removed on your car. There's lots of different stuff that he does. He cleaned the exterior of the car, but he even went as far as giving the interior a little brush and hoover as well, which wasn't agreed upon or expected, but highly appreciated. Thanks, Tim. <laughs> but now there is one last thing that we need to do. Becky, I would like you to join me in the interior of the car, please. Yeah. I'll, I'll see you around there. Kong, you, you, you can oh. stay here. Okay, oh. no problem. <laughs> Okay, guess what? Becky, can you predict what I'm about to do? Yeah! That's right! Don't, <laughs> don't look at me, Vin. One sec. Wait for it. That's right, we're changing the colour back to white! Do you want to do the honours, Becky? No, no. Okay. I wouldn't do okay. that to you. Okay, here we go. <laughs> right, ready for this? Oh! oh. Da -da -da. oh. Does it 
it need to be on metallic? Oh god, definitely not. Solid? Bro, oh, that looks absolutely horrendous. We'll stick with that one. What's that one? That's matte. Very nice. And just like that, eight months later, the car is back to white. Now, I do plan on getting the car wrapped again, but that is dependent on if we get the Model Y or not. But either way, a Model 3 or a future Model Y will be wrapped. I'm thinking maybe like a light blue or maybe like a goldy yellow. If you've got any other suggestions, let me know in the comments. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure to check out Tidal. Their link is in the description and Tim's link's in the description as well. Thanks a lot. I will see you later.